Hello and welcome. I am Volker Schweikart, Product Manager for Coherent Raman Scattering Microscopy at Leica Microsystems. And in this five minute video, I'm going to tell you all the background you need to know about coherent Raman scattering microscopy. And I hope you'll see it isn't all that complicated. So let's get started. Now, first of all, why should you care about coherent Raman scattering? It is because you can visualize chemical structures without a need for labeling. In this brain slice, we can visualize all the lipid molecules based on a characteristic vibration of their molecular bonds. And we can see here that these lipids are mostly localized to the myelin sheets that are wrapped around the axons. Now in this sample, the neurons are in addition labeled with a yellow fluorescent protein. And we can very clearly see that these fluorescent signals and the lipid signals mark totally different parts of the neurons. And in the overlay, you can see very clearly that there is no crosstalk between these two types of signals. So CRS really provides an orthogonal contrast mechanism and you can make structures visible that have been invisible before. So how can we even excite molecular vibrations using laser light? The secret is the spontaneous Raman effect. And so this happens when you shine a pump laser onto a sample of molecules where the energy of the pump photons is not sufficient to drive fluorescent transitions. So in this case, most of the light will just simply be transmitted through the sample. And only very rarely you get an event like this where one of the photons causes one of the molecules to vibrate. And as a result of the energy that is deposited into the molecule, a lower energy Stokes photon comes out where the energy of the Stokes photon is reduced by the amount of vibrational energy deposited in the sample. And so this characteristic reduction of the energy can be measured spectroscopically, and this serves as the basis for Raman spectroscopy. So in this uh, energy diagram, we talk about going to a virtual state from which we then get the emission, the spontaneous emission of such a Stokes photon. And because this is such a weak effect, only one in about 10 to the seven photons are scattered in this way, Raman microscopy is possible, but everyone in the field agrees that it is painfully slow. And so for a long time, researchers have been thinking of ways to give this Raman effect a boost, to make it more efficient, to make it faster. And the exciting outcome of this is coherent Raman scattering. So what we do here, it starts out basically in the same way as spontaneous Raman. We shine a pump laser onto our sample of molecules. But now in addition, we shine a second laser, the Stokes laser onto the molecules, where the frequency difference between the two laser fields is tuned to exactly match one of the vibrational frequencies of our samples. So in this case, the combined action of both laser fields very efficiently excites the entire ensemble of molecules to vibrate. And this is what we call vibrational resonance. Now, we are pumping energy into the sample here. And so as a result, we will see a loss of photons in the higher energy pump beam and a redistribution of photons into the lower energy Stokes beam. And these intensity changes can be measured, and this is the basis of the so-called stimulated Raman scattering effect. So it looks in an energy diagram essentially like the spontaneous Raman effect, but we are not waiting for the spontaneous emission of these Stokes photons from that virtual level, but instead we are stimulating those photons down using the Stokes laser. Now, these processes are most efficiently driven using picosecond laser pulses at fairly high peak intensities. And so under the same conditions, different nonlinear optical effects take place as well. And one of the very prominent ones that was discovered very early on was the so-called CARS effect or coherent anti-Stokes Raman scattering effect, where you can see the first two steps are exactly the same as in stimulated Raman scattering, but through the additional absorption of a second pump photon, you populate a second virtual level from which you then immediately get the emission of these blue shifted anti-Stokes photons. And so both of these effects occur under the same conditions and they have a common 
origin, this is the vibrational resonance, the, the matching of the frequency difference of the laser fields with a vibrational resonance. And that is the reason of the chemical specificity for this type of contrast mechanism. So how do we get a contrast mechanism out of that? We couple these two laser beams into a laser scanning microscope and detect either the intensity changes in stimulated Raman scattering or the emission of blue shifted light in coherent anti-Stokes Raman scattering. Now, both these mechanisms are slightly different in their signal generation, and that, as a result, leads to different properties of the images. SRS imaging turns out to be very quantitative, and it's very suitable for doing spectroscopic imaging. The information is fully equivalent mathematically to what you would get in spontaneous Raman scattering, but it is occurring much faster, much more efficiently. CARS imaging, by contrast, is a great way to do label-free chemical imaging of highly abundant species. It can be done very fast, but it has slight problems in terms of quantification. So the good news is we have two modalities here, and we can use whichever one based on the needs uh, that we have for our experiment. Now, Leica Microsystems provides an instrument for coherent Raman scattering microscopy, the Stellaris 8 CRS. And as you can see on the left hand side, this is a confocal microscope with the addition of a laser source to drive the coherent Raman excitation and some dedicated detection equipment to record the coherent Raman signals. Now, the schematic on the right shows the optical beam path for coherent Raman scattering, as well as the detection geometries for the two modalities SRS and CARS. The laser source for coherent Raman scattering is an optical parametric oscillator that emits two beams, a fixed Stokes beam at 1032 nanometer and a tunable pump beam uh, in the near-infrared range that is adjusted to match the vibrational frequency of the molecules that you are interested in studying. Those two beams are overlapped in space and time and focused down onto the sample where the CARS and SRS signals are generated. CAR signals can be detected in the forward and in the epi direction. SRS signals are only detected in the forward direction. And so just to keep this short, Leica Microsystems is the only commercial supplier of such a general purpose, fully integrated coherent Raman scattering microscope that seamlessly combines the following imaging modalities. You have a fully integrated visible confocal microscope with the addition of CARS and SRS imaging modalities, and we can in parallel record second harmonic uh, generation signals as well as two photon fluorescence. So Stellaris 8 CRS is a true multimodal optical discovery instrument. So with this, I hope I've sparked your curiosity. I hope you will go explore some of the fantastic content that we have provided for you on our product webpage where lots of application examples are highlighted and you can download a brochure and an application note with even more info. We have also a dedicated space for coherent Raman scattering at Leica Science Lab with application stories and up-to-date publication list that gives you a better feel for what's currently going on in the field. So thank you for watching and I'm very happy to hear your feedback and questions.